at the pool. There's the three caballeros down there squirting water for people to get themselves extra wet with. There's the lifesaver. N42. Lifeguard, excuse me. Hopefully she doesn't have to save any lives, just guard them. G48. G48. This is where they're calling the numbers for the bingo. O sixty eight. Here's the prizes. Score. O sixty four. I'm so sorry. O sixty four. Oh. This is where they braid people's hair or something. I'm not sure. I saw somebody doing it a while ago. I don't know what's going on here. What's this? Disney body art. Oh, okay. This guy can paint stuff on you. On your face or whatnot. It's interesting. Okay, there's a, a little bar. You wouldn't think it, but alcohol is not absolutely non-existent here. You don't see a lot of it. Here's the uh, arcade. They want to make sure you and your kids don't get bored here. <laughs> they really try real hard. And here we are in the restaurant. It's our little restaurant. There's a lady with her four cups filled with uh, drinks and this is where you refill them. This is those uh, refillable drinks I keep uh, talking about. Or you know you buy the cup one time and then you just refill it for as long as you're here. Big big uh, dining area and you notice it down at the far end of the dining area there's a large screen TV showing no doubt Disney related stuff. Oh, there's the pizza pickup. You can order pizza. You either pick it up or have it delivered to your room. Coffee, tea, Coke, hot chocolate. Pretty much anything you want to drink. I don't think they have juices like orange juice, that sort of thing. That's too expensive to give away. <laughs> and I'm turning the hall. We have music related um, pictures lining the hallway. There's Springsteen, Paul McCartney. Nothing special or anything, you know, they're not the originals or autographed or anything, but it's just keeping the, the theming consistent. Maestro Mickey's Gift Shop. Anything you forgot to buy in the parks, you can probably get here. Mailbox. Men's rooms. Or bathrooms, men and ladies. And this is the check in and check out area. And the concierge is up here somewhere. Yeah. So basically, a concierge 
if you're not from around here, is a uh, a guy in hotels that basically tour operator. Hmm. There's concierge. Basically, if you have any problems, if you need something arranged, you know, like if you were going to have a party or, uh, you know, you want something special, a little something special, come see the concierge. You have a problem, you have a question, a little place for kids to watch the movies while their mom and dad are checking in and doing all sorts of boring things. This is my longest movie yet this time. I'm trying to keep them short, but I just wanted to kind of give a, uh, just a, an idea of what staying at this place is like and where things are and that sort of thing. Come out here, right out the front door, and you see places to get in line and wait for a bus. Down at the far end is Epcot Center and Blizzard Beach. That's a just a swimming park. It's a whole separate park. Uh, Disney MGM, Magic Kingdom, Disney's Animal Kingdom, Downtown Disney, Pleasure Island, and Typhoon Lagoon. Buses, Magical Express Bus Stop. No, I'm sorry. Disney's Magical Express Bus Stop. Now, what that is, is if you fly down here, you can make arrangements and they will come and pick you up at the airport and your luggage and bring you here you never have to touch your luggage they'll bring it straight to the uh, to your room hello I'm making a video for my friend who's never been here and I'm showing him what things are like to stay here and stuff and where things are and how nice people are <laughs> you're nice right <laughs> okay <laughs> all right thanks hi Gracie <laughs> and okay that's about all there is really about this particular building and everything so if you look at it on Google Earth or something like that, you'll see a whole bunch of buildings. I don't know how many exactly. It's divided into four different areas. Uh, movies, music, um, sports, and... <laughs> no, three. Movie, music, and sports. Each part is themed along those lines. Movies, music, or sports. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that's Chris leaning on the balcony up there. I don't know why he's this far up, that far up. Maybe it's not. But uh, you see the maracas, the giant maracas. Right over there. And then there's a big round thing over there. That's like a jazz area. And it's really not that much difference. This is just the theming and the elevator music, you know, is really that changes. And, and uh, but the whole area is music, and that's that pool there is for the whole music area. Um, but our room is the last one down there on that balcony right there. Found out something interesting about staying here, though. That I don't think I knew before. And that is that um, if oh yeah, I, I, I've listed off some of the advantages to staying here, or really at any Disney-owned you know place, but especially here is that um, is that you can you know you, you you have the buses that will take you anywhere you want to go. You have, um, well, I've listed them off elsewhere, but so another thing is that, like, if you're staying here at the hotel on the grounds, and let's say I go over to Disney World, which, well, Disney World, excuse me, if I go over to the Magic Kingdom, which we did yesterday, and I go into Pirates of the Caribbean and decide to buy uh, Pirates of the Caribbean CD, which I did, <laughs> and I don't want to have to carry that around all day, which I didn't, I can just tell the girl at the cash register, have this sent to my room. 
And you have to be, it takes them like a day. And they really don't recommend that you do that if you don't have at least two days left on your stay. But it generally only has, so far, I think we've all had stuff sent to our room that only took one day. Uh, oh, and also parking. When we go over to the parks, Magic Kingdom, $11 to park. $11. Each of the parks, probably about $11. I haven't really paid that close attention. But we that's because we didn't have to pay it. Because we stayed here, we have a little thing we stick on our dashboard. And we just drive right through and don't pay. So, I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Just the no parking saves you like 10, 11 to 12 dollars a day, 10 to 12 let's say. And then all the other little things, the little, just neat little things that make you feel special. Look at this. I missed this one on the way up. See, these little kids had some costumes that they bought to wear in the park. So they hung up in the window to make their room look magical when they get back from the park tonight. I just love this place and I love staying here. So, all right, this is almost, almost 12 minutes now, so I'm gonna quit. I should have taken my cup and got it filled up when I went up there to the restaurant, but oh well, maybe later. Yeah. Well, not necessarily in the pool, around the pool. I don't think there's anybody in the pool playing. But there's all kinds of people with cards around the pool. So, this is me, signing off.